Joe Jack may be a background co-worker of Hank's, but we know a decent amount about him. And he may call everyone honey, but he also has a bit of an edge. When he comes back, I say we throw a blanket over his head and do what feels right. Hey folks, welcome to Squirrel Tactics. If you like what we're doing here, why don't you go ahead and like the video and hit subscribe for us while you're at it. So, Joe Jack, fun fact here, it's unknown exactly what his name is. Is his name Joe Jack, first and last name? Is Joe Jack his first and middle name? Or is it just a double first name? Yeah, we don't know. What we do know is that he works at Strickland Propane, supposedly as a driver, which is how we see him in episodes like Snow Job, where he is the mouthpiece for the other drivers when they protest test and quit over the use of Tadler boxes. And in that same episode, we also see him driving. Slow down, Joe Jack. Slow way down. Slower. Just stop the truck. Also, he refers to himself as a driver in Meet the Propaniacs. Well, he didn't want someone like me touching him. I'm just a driver. My mom's is clean and lady. But he's also shown to be a salesman and a terrible magician in The Miseducation of Bobby Hill. And he's shown to have a desk in episodes like Junkie Business and Lost in MySpace. At some point, Joe Jack was married, as it's mentioned that he tries to avoid paying alimony. In 24-hour propane people, we learn that he doesn't know what a pomegranate is, and that he at some point served time in the past. I gotta bust out of here, Hank. You don't know this, but I've been locked up before. He's a heavy drinker, seen drinking from a flask on several occasions, though he's rarely seen drunk. In Meet the Propaniacs, he was a rather important part of forming the group, but when they got their big break, he ends up getting drunk and smashing car windows in the parking lot. Wait a minute, where's Joe Jack? He was drinking from his mini canteen out in the parking lot, and then he was smashing car windows. I wasn't going to say nothing. Oh, God. In Full Metal Dust Jacket, he's one of the co-workers that Hank reads a dinner of onions to, and his response was... I got half a mind to go to Nova Scotia and kick that Benedict's ass, honey. And yeah, he does constantly call people, regardless of sex, honey, which is something you find throughout the South. A lot of people would actually be surprised how many people do that down here. A lot like how Boomhauer talks... <laughs> I mean, here they'll make a little mark, man. Go dig, boom, man. There's a fire, and and it don't that gum that come that blowed everywhere, man. I don't know, saw any man run out there. I don't know if he dig Chuck Mangione to go be come down here. I've known people that talk just like Boomhauer and older guys that called everyone honey or sweetie, and that's what she said. He earned the nickname Low Crack in church hopping. He had this response when Hank asked his coworkers about looking for a new church. You gotta be right with God to go to my church, honey. And to again stress that he had a bit of an edge, there's this from Hank Fixes Everything. Walter sent you here. Also, when Hank fixes everything, we see Joe Jack get fired in a rather terrible way. Uh, Joe Jack, give me a hand outside with the sign. Sure, honey. What's up? You're fired. There. I just saved us 400 bucks a week. Wait, I need this job. Sorry, no room in the lifeboat. But don't worry, Hank got him a job at the propane expo to get him by, which allowed him to get this small bit of revenge. Ooh. In Lost in MySpace, it's shown that he enjoys freaking propane tanks. Yeah, and customers came in exclusively looking to get a tank that had been freaked by Joe Jack. In Hank's back, we see Joe Jack doing yoga at work with Hank and Enrique, where he apparently opens his chakra. I just felt my chakra open, honey. And we learn that in addition to some drinking and anger problems, Joe Jack has issues with gambling. How's your back, honey? Great, Joe Jack. How's your gambling problem? And we see that Hank doesn't exactly hold Joe Jack in the highest regard in Unfortunate Son. The VFW? Those guys are war heroes. Sending a Joe Jack to hit him up for money is, well, kind of an insult. However, he was a good enough softball player to play center field on Strickland's softball team and played for a time on the Zephyrs along with Hank and the gang until, well... And things looked pretty bleak when we lost Joe Jack because of, well... We all know what happened at the Taco Bueno. 
So, overall, Joe Jack is a good old boy that works hard and apparently parties harder. He has issues with gambling, drinking, and anger, but he's also loyal when the chips are down. You may not want him as a best friend, but he's pretty handy to have on your side. Joe Jack! Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. I've been working at the oh, propane.